Hello, this is Leslie Walker Hirsch for Glass Alliance, New Mexico. And today it is my great pleasure to be speaking with the spring 2019 scholarship winner from Glass Alliance, New Mexico, Stefan Plisterman. Stefan makes his glass art at Prairie Dog Glass and at Liquid Light Glass. And he also works there and he's employed by them. Uh, his detailed plans for his artistic growth very much impressed the Glass Alliance Scholarship Committee as well as the Board of Directors in awarding him this scholarship. Stefan has always worked solo by himself to make his glass art and now this opportunity with the scholarship will give him an assistant to help him create larger and more interesting and uh, impossible pieces to create as a singleton. Hello, Steph, and congratulations again. How are you? Hi, Leslie. Thank you very much. I'm good. Obviously, I'm good. I just got a scholarship. And <laughs> we're getting to the point where I can actually start working again on everything that I had planned for on, on doing with this money. So, so everything is good. Great. So let me ask you, how did you ever hear about the Glass Alliance Scholarship? I actually have been a member of the Alliance, and so I saw it first when it came up in the newsletter. And well, that was that was enough inspiration for me to start working on it. And then other people suggested to me that maybe I should do this. Well, I'm so glad that somebody's reading the newsletters, every single word, and listening to us on the newsletter. Um, so did someone in, encourage you to apply? How did that happen? Yeah, um, um, Pat, you know, the owner of Prairie Dog Glass, he said I should do it. Um, Willie Hayes, that, that also comes frequently to Prairie Dog Glass and, and does some cold working there, she said, you know, you should really do it. And my answer to them was like, I already did. Because yes, I had seen it you know, in the artists, newsletter. Artists can be so modest that they don't apply for the things that their talent really entitles them to. So how did you learn about being the recipient of the Glass Alliance 2019 Spring Award of a scholarship? Well, I actually got an email um, that just let me know that um, I got it, which was very exciting. And, and then again, coming back to the shop, and, and particularly Pat and Willie, it was like they were making fun of me, which <laughs> happens frequently. Gently, and I'm sure. Yes, yes. Both of them in their own way. Um, and they and they basically, Willie being a board member, she knew about it. Um, and she had told Pat, I think, by the time I, I came there and had found out myself. So, so they were teasing me a little bit. Um, but, yeah, I mean, fun experience. And, you know, in Santa Fe, there are no secrets that are kept for long. It's a small no, town. No, especially not, especially not if you're related to Pat. <laughs> <laughs> So what is it that you think the scholarship committee saw in your work and in your uh, application to be a recipient that made you stand out from other recipients? Well, well, what am I thinking is the question, because I don't know, right? But, but I would hope, let's say I would hope that, you know, foremost, it would be related to my work. And, and then since it is a scholarship, um, you know, with, I get to pick what I use the money for. I guess I would hope that the um, the goals that I had and the way that I described the goals would, would have helped with the selection process as well. So, um, so I asked you to describe your work, but now I'm asking you to select one of your works and tell us what you think about it and why you picked that one out. Okay, and I have been hiding that one behind <laughs> myself. So I'm bringing it forward. That is um, the one that I selected for that question. And the, the reason why I picked this one is that um, as far as background goes, you know, I haven't been blowing glass for all that long. Um, I've been a painter and a sculptor for close to 30 years now and transitioned into glass blowing, feeling like these um, two media, the two experiences that I've had really come together in glass as a medium. This piece for me is an example of how painting has come into working with glass, in my opinion. I'm still painting. Instead of colors, I'm now using colored glass. And I had to figure out 
how to paint with this stuff because it doesn't blend the same way. But after you know, a fair amount of experimentation, um, I feel like I've gotten to where I'm painting with glass. And so where does your inspiration come from? Oh, that is nature. Obviously, you look at my work, I'm, 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 I'm going for an organic appearance, which I've always liked. Uh, organic textures, colors, flow of line, everything. And so nature foremost, but also other artists. I mean, I think we're all copying from nature in one way or another. Um, I've been looking at um, work of, of um, like I've watched the videos of Dale Chihuly and, and Lino working together on the Venetian pieces, which to me are actually still my favorite pieces of Lino's because it's not so much the, the incredible technical ability, but letting go a little bit, you know, and, and just having things happen, which is, which is what I like um, when it comes to artwork. So you mentioned earlier that you're a member of Glass Alliance New Mexico. How has belonging to our humble organization affected you and your work? In a very positive way in several instances. Um, the first right one answer. was the, <laughs> the first time was actually um, I came to New Mexico. It's three years now, almost, you know, beginning of July. It's going to be three years. And I came here to blow glass. That was that was the purpose. Um, and I ended up being at the Albuquerque Makers Fair, an event that was sponsored through Glass Alliance. And I was involved. there with you, Stefan. Yep. And, and being there, um, aside from for the first time learning about New Mexico at three o'clock in the afternoon winds coming up like on command. Um, I, 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 you know, got to be out there with a small little glass shop. Um, and, and, uh, Sarah Nelson, one of the board members actually bought one of my pieces. That was the first interaction that I had with the glass alliance and it can't be much better than that. Um, it was too, you know, Glass Alliance as well that I learned about uh, Arts Drive in, in, in Albuquerque, uh, the Albuquerque Museum show that um, I particip participated in last year and actually sold both of the two pieces that I had in the show, and then the scholarship. So, like I said, nothing but positive experiences. That's great, and we're so happy that you like us and that you stay with us. So, uh so what would you like to tell other artists in New Mexico, especially beginning artists? Um, well, my experience in New Mexico is based largely on Santa Fe, which I've moved here from Maui and I've seen similarities in the two communities. They're very, they're tourist based and they're very art centered in terms of having a lot of artists and having a lot of outlets for artwork. And then the tourists come and hopefully buy the artwork. So take advantage of the environment that you're in because it doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> um, and then the other thing is that, you know, as being an artist means you're, expressing yourself you should be expressing yourself so so you have to look at yourself you have to know who you are and then you have to find a way to bring some of those elements into your work you do that i believe it takes care of selling your work because there will be something there that people will be attracted to well stefan i think you've given us some insights into your work and given young artists a way to move forward as well so thank you so much for spending part of your morning with the watchers and readers of the Glass Alliance newsletter. I'll be speaking to you soon. Okay, thank you. So long. Bye.